What's the process of what you do that we don't see? Uh, good question. Uh, with me being, you know, a uh, producer, before I can direct, I need to go out there and either, if it's my film, lock in an investor or lock in a budget. And a lot of times, me as a filmmaker, I'm spending 80% of the time finding an executive producer or locking in funds and 20% of the time creating a film. Like, I want to switch it around where I'm spending 80% of the time shooting a movie and only 20% of the time locking in the investor. So what people don't see is before I get to the set, they don't know what I had to go through to lock in a, a producer, lock in a budget, be able to hire everybody, be able to feed everybody, be able to have a situation for us to shoot this month. Like, no one sees the the business behind the scenes side of it. Just see like, oh, we're shooting on the red cameras. Oh, we're working with uh, Vita Guerra or Malik Whitfield today. You know what I mean? Like they just see the the physical glitz and glamour part of it. They don't really see like me um, in my home office on the phone or on the email uh, conjuring up, uh, you know, potential uh, deals or potential relationships that leads to, you know, producing uh, movies or what have you. So... Yeah, people don't see that part. People just think like, oh, the camera just shows up and, and the, the craft service and everything just pays for itself. And you know what I mean? Well, I mean, I don't think they think that, but it's people just don't see like what it takes to get in a production like finance and, and going and, and, you know, and meeting deadlines and stuff. It's, it looks easy and it looks like we're having fun on set when we're working with, you know, certain, you know, talent and certain uh, equipment and stuff. But... It's it's not easy. It just looks easy. And going back to that one set in 95 when you were doing craft services, mm -hmm. did you think that it was easy from watching your friend? You know what? It did look easy. I remember being, I was like 19, I was 19 or 20. I was 20. Yeah, I was 20, 95. And um, I remember my boy Daniel sitting in the chair, the director chair. And all this dude was saying was, <laughs> action, action, action. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. Like, that's all is he doing is just like, you know what I mean? Like directing the talent and the talent is doing everything. And he, he made me figure out how to get in that chair. And, and it was not easy at all. It looks easy once you're on the set and you're like, hey, roll camera, roll sound. We got speed, all right, and action. All that stuff, you know what I'm saying, looks fun and easy, but no one knows that you had to, first of all, have a body of work to even have booked the job that was going on. You need to have a reel. You need to have a website. You needed to say the, uh, the right thing and answer the questions, you know, uh, professionally and, and artic you know, and speak articulately, you know what I mean? And everything like matters before you get to the set. And some people don't realize like, you know, uh, it takes a lot of hard work to get in a director's chair to be, you know, working with big names or big companies, you know what I mean? Like it, it takes, uh, it takes a lot of success to get to that point. 